Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Now today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how to physically set up a dual monitor setup, right? So physically and on the setting side for Windows 11. Now this is this is for Windows 11. Again, this is a Windows 11 laptop behind me and then I have an HP monitor back here as well. But it's generally going to work for Windows 10 as well because the Windows 10 and Windows 11 dual monitor setup are basically the exact same. But before we get into it, I want to go over one of the things you're going to need to identify and get ready before you decide to do this setup. What you're going to have to determine is what type of connection type, what display connection your computer uses. So my laptop, for example, it uses an HDMI connection type. So get that over here. Now I already have this hooked up to the monitor back there, but this is the HDMI connection type, right? High definition, high definition multimedia interface, HDMI, right? That is going to be one of the most common display connection types out there. And especially for laptops, if you're going to be doing a second monitor off of a laptop, most likely going to be HDMI. Now, if you're doing a tower desktop tower, and you're doing a dual monitor off of, off of that, you may have like what I have inside of my tower, which is display port connection type, also very common. So display port and HDMI. Now, one of the older connection types is VGA. That's not used as much anymore. However, you may still find it being used out there. Your monitor may be VGA and your uh, tower might use VGA. So that is also another type VGA, HDMI, and then DisplayPort. Today, I want to be showing you with HDMI. So I'm six foot two. When I stand up, you're not going to be able to see my face. So I'm going to give you a quick explanation of what I'm doing before I do it. Now I'm going to get up. I'm going to go over there. I have my monitor plugged in already. I have my HDMI cable running from my monitor and I'm going to plug it into my laptop. So that's the first step. Now, if you were doing this for a tower, you would run the cable from your tower into the monitor. Same exact process, just a little different. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it here on my laptop. So again, it's already connected into my monitor. I'm going to take it over here and plug it into my laptop. Okay. All right. So I plugged it in and it automatically identified the other monitor, which is really nice. That makes it really easy. Now, the problem that I'm having right now is instead of there being an extended display, I have two of the, the same displays because it's doing a duplication. That's not what we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the background choose display settings. That's the easiest way to get here. There's other ways to get to display settings, but this is the easiest way. And then I'm going to choose rather than duplicate these displays, I'm going to choose to extend these displays and I'm going to keep those changes. Okay. Now there's a second thing that I have to do here. That's very important. And that is identify my monitor. So if I press on identify, you'll see one has a one, and one has a two. Now I want to make sure that my orientation here, I can switch this around. See, I can move the monitors from place to place. I want to make sure that they line up with how I actually have it set up. So right now they do. I have one here and I have two there. So that's perfect. I'm going to hit apply. And now I should be able to move my screens from one window to the other as you would with a dual monitor. Let me get past all this. There we go. Okay. Let me move it over. Let's see. There we go. Now I have two workspaces. Pretty awesome. So let's talk about things that could go wrong. Okay. So some of the things that could go wrong when setting up a dual monitor setup. So the first one would be, uh, let's go over hardware problems that you could run into. 
Uh, bad cable, that's pretty common. If you have a bad HDMI, bad display port cable, those could be causing an issue. The port that it's actually going into on the computer, that could be bad and causing an issue. And then on top of that, your GPU, your actual graphics processing unit could also be having an issue that's causing a, a, a hardware related issue that's that's blocking your ability to set up dual monitor. Now, on the software side, you could have out of date drivers, right? Like graphics drivers, graphics processing unit drivers. Your operating system could be out of date or you could just have the, the settings incorrect like we went over there. You, you might need to switch from duplicate over to extend or the orientation is wrong and you might need to identify which screen is where and then move them accordingly. So those are some of the common issues, but I hope if anybody's having trouble, I hope this simple uh, quick demonstration helps anybody wanting to set up dual monitors that hit a snag, right? So if you're having any it, uh, additional issues or you can't get your dual monitors set up, please reach out to my computer works and we'll be happy to help. Thank you everyone. And you have a great day.